Next one's from Yellow Hard Hat. Subject is MJ finished. They put MJF and put finished. MJF's return to AEW was long anticipated. And frankly, it's absolutely sucks since he came back. He didn't go after Samoa Joe, the guy who took his title from him. He didn't go after the Undisputed Era, the faction that beat him down and injured him. Said he came back for a two-week build to a Roosh match and then some Mexican guy in pay-per-view. That was such a dumb idea. Even MJF himself trashed it during a promo. Now he's not only a heel again already, but now we're getting ready for the dream match of MJF versus Daniel Garcia. Where were you the day that MJF versus Daniel Garcia happened? I can't wait to tell my great-grandchildren about this unforgettable day because it's such a massive dream match that everyone has been begging for. Who needs a Rock versus Roman when MJF versus Dan- Daniel Garcia is in the works? Anyway, no one can bash MJF for re-signing with AEW for giant money. We all would, but my question is, do you think it's fair to say that Tony Khan is officially out of creative ideas for MJF? The character ran its course in AEW back in 2022. Well, I think what they did was is it, it hit him like a like a like a brick in the face. Is Tony realized, bro, we keep I, I brought this guy back and this is flat. It's doing nothing for our numbers and everything. So they hot shotted him into this thing with Osprey, and bro, it's better television, hundred percent better television. I, I, nobody gave a about him fighting Daniel Garcia. Nobody gave a about him fighting El Hichichero and and Roosh, even though Roosh is a good worker, but that he that wasn't his spot. Like he's not that up on the card to be like, like fighting MJF, and MJF still didn't really address any of the issues that he had when he left yet. You know, so I don't know. Uh, what do you think, Tony? I think that it was Tony's idea to put him in with Rouge and Etchisero because if it was MJF's idea, he wouldn't have buried it in a promo. Okay, mm-hmm. he knew it was a bad idea, and he's like, "Well, at least let me bury it in, in a promo and character if you want me to do this." He's getting paid a lot of money, gets a lot of perks. Probably has his own creative ideas. Then Tony came up with the Daniel Garcia thing. And I'm thinking MJF, because one time I, not too long ago, as a matter of fact, we were texting back and forth. And I go, when are you going to come on the show, dude? And he goes, oh, I got to ask. I go, don't give me that. Any top guy in any promotion since I've been in the business does whatever they want. Okay. I go, so why aren't you coming here? And he goes, I'll work on it. So. I'm thinking MJF said, look, this Daniel Garcia is not popping. I've listened to you. The Rouge thing didn't pop. The Tissero thing didn't pop. You know, this ain't popping. Yeah, I'll wrestle him in Wembley. Build him up all you can. But we need to do something now because this ain't working. Put me in with Osprey. I'm thinking. Yeah. I mean, we'll, we'll, we don't know, but it's better, it's better television. Right. That's for sure. You know? Yeah. The other stuff was lame. And all of a sudden, it's and more better promos, stuff. too. Right. Yo, what's up? I just want to thank you guys for watching this clip. Don't forget to hit the like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. And join our YouTube membership for hours and hours of exclusive, unedited, uncensored content. And being a member will help you get involved in our upcoming live streams. Uh, Thank you for your support. Thank you for riding with us. I know you got a lot of other uh, podcast choices, be it wrestling or other ones. And thank you for picking us. Boom.